day when I'm awfully low and the world is cold. I will feel a glow just dreaming of just the way Cole, a national treasure, singer, jazz pianist, and actor as well. His music heals mm -hmm. the soul, has bridged people with love as well. Uh, truly has. Our next guest uses his incredible talents to pay tribute to the legend. Joining us now is Gregory Stewart, Nat King Cole impersonator and CEO of Stewart Music Emporium. Amir Roberts is the creative director. Thank you so much yes. for being here to Thank both you. of you. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much. Okay, so tell us about this Emporium. Like, yes. why is it so special? So Stuart Music Emporium is so special because it is a family-owned uh, nonprofit business that um, pretty much helps the city and helps other artists and individuals who love music to have a space where they can come and do music, um, do um, any type of um, studio work that they need, anything they need to help their career push forward. We are we are there to help them in every aspect. So that is awesome. And Amir, yeah. right now you guys are doing a performance about Nat King Cole. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's called Just One of Those Things and More, the Nat King Cole story starring Mr. Gregory Stewart himself. Yes. And yes. it really is just a storytelling, the amazing legend Nat King Cole and how he contributed to music and how we are yes. here today as black entertainers and really one of the Southside Chicago legends. Yes, yes. You for sure. embody, Gregory, you embody a lot of Nat King Cole's vibe. Yeah. I mean, he's so smooth, such a gentleman. Yes, There's so much is. charisma, but never trying too hard. And that's no. what we're getting off of you right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> I mean, easy on the eyes, too. Well, thank you. So, like, how, how did this happen? How did you become a Nat King Cole impersonator? Well, my father loved jazz music, and my dad was a smooth cat himself. <laughs> um, but but I've always listened to Nat King Cole and his music, and I studied his music, and I studied his voice growing up. And so I did some of his shows, or I did some of his music at my own shows when I lived in Japan for two years. Oh, wow. And then I brought it back here to Chicago, performed at certain places, the Untitled Supper Club. But I wanted to dwell into deeper into just being him and portraying him. After I got bit by the bug of being in a theater show at Black Ensemble Theater with the Earth, Wind & Fire show. So I just wanted to do, just wanted to be him and just see how it is to be Nat King Cole and just, you know, sing like. <laughs> You're a Chicago guy, born and raised here. Yes. What inspires you about Nat King Cole's story that made you want to jump into this role so eagerly? Well, I think you said, I feel like he did not have to try so hard. Mm -hmm. I think his talent spoke for himself, period. I feel like Nat uh, was a man that just loved music so much and loved to just give the world love mm -hmm. that all he needed to do was just be himself and sing and just open his mouth and whatever came out was just magic. Wow. And it was just a way to show the world love. And that's what he's for. So yes. Amir, how hmm. is it producing an original show and working with someone <laughs> that's so talented and yeah. was a prodigy? Yes. <laughs> I mean, does he listen to you when you give direction as well? <laughs> it's like, I need the green m and <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a series of photo shoots, meetings, yes. uh, practices, yeah. but it has been a rewarding experience. I will say we have learned a series of lessons putting on a production, mm -hmm. though small. Uh, it's not, it's a really big feat. It's not easy at all, yeah. but <laughs> it's been a pleasure to not only help him put this on stage, but yeah. to really put this story out to audiences and have it be received well, as well as by critics. Mm -hmm. um, we're so excited to make it to this point to actually have a final product on a stage, yeah. as well as have people receive it really well and go home with not only a new story, but feel warm inside mm -hmm. and, you know, really get into the Christmas spirit. Oh, that's, that's so it. awesome. Yes. Gregory, we don't want to put you on the spot, but uh -oh. can you give us a little Nat King Cole? He did this famous song, um, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. 
Jack Frost nipping at your nose, Yuletide carols being sung by a choir, and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows. I really <laughs> wanted to sing along, and I was holding back. So I, I don't want to ruin it. it. <laughs> and my goodness, the vibrato in your voice yes. is just ooh. But he also chills. had a really low. Didn't yeah, he did. Really low. Oh, uh, he would do like although it's been said many times. Many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Oh. Sure, can we try? He's it? the right sure. guy. Sure, you sure can. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas <laughs> to, to you. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> You're signed. Right. You're signed. All right, thank you. Like, never come. Never come. You're part of the next show. <laughs> the next show. I'll just come and watch you. Please. Absolutely, we would love oh to have God. you guys. Thank you guys for next. Just one of those things and more. The Nat King Cole Story Show is December 21st through the 23rd. It's at the Mercury Theater. Head to Stuart Music Emporium's Facebook page and their socials to learn more, guys. Thank you so much thank for being so here. Congratulations. Yeah, come back and see us anytime. Absolutely.